So many people are ready for the rebirth of Detroit. It's exciting for metropolitan Detroit to hear about anyone moving in from somewhere else. And the fact that we're in Detroit, I think right off the bat is kind of that, well, I know this little place in Detroit. It's, you know, it's just different. If we do the right concept, good food, good service, you know, people will, people will find us eventually. We just didn't think it was going to happen so quick. It was closed down. It had been vacant for about six months to a year. We had a bunch of different concepts that we wanted to work with, different themes and everything, but the more we kind of sat and thought on it, we really liked the Green Dot Stables, like the whole harness racing theme. We thought it was a lot of fun, and the building just kind of had that feel to it, so we, we just rolled with it. Things are better, small batches. The good things come in small packages. It's sort of an expression of our personalities too. This is kind of what we are and we like to have a good time. Here it is. If you want to come and enjoy it, please do. But you know, we get it. We're not for everybody. The way I always kind of explained it and how this whole concept came up was, I like to eat, you know, my wife likes to eat. We like to go out and try to try as many different things as we can. <laughs> Everything on our menu is two and three dollars. Uh, lets people be adventurous. We felt that the slider was a very approachable vessel for people in the Midwest. It's something we're all comfortable with and we all know. But then you start, you know, amping it up a little bit and putting different things on these buns. We do like a mystery meat every week. We've done camel, pheasant, octopus, you know, anything you can think of. We've, uh, we've ran it. We have a really good relationship with a local meat vendor, and whenever he gets something interesting in, we're the first people he calls, he'll bring it in, we all try it, we talk about what we can do with it. So that gives people a chance to try something that they wouldn't normally try without, you know, breaking the bank, and, and uh, our chef does a wonderful job of always making it delicious, too. We changed it for a hot minute, and people, like, protested. They came in and they got very mad at us. So we went back to the way everyone liked it. I knew the people were here, I knew that people were looking for something, but I didn't realize that it would happen so fast and how much attention it would really grab. I think that it's cute and kitschy that people have sort of deemed us this hipster country club. And if you come here on any given afternoon, that's not what you're gonna see. There are men in business suits taking up our entire bar from downtown. We have, you know, families, attorneys, senior citizens you name it. For people I didn't even know would come and help us just, you know, put this place together. It was a really cool and incredible experience just seeing the community just be excited for a new place in town. And I think that just started the whole thing and then they started telling their friends and then, you know, before we knew it, we were slamming every day.